Hey guys, so uh, just doing a quick video here. Um, this is going to be what I, the usual regimen I, I uh, do when swapping ROMs or backing up ROMs. Uh, this uh, specific, this video specifically is for my buddy Sean. Um, you don't have to do it this way, but this is how I do it. Um, so right now I'm running a. Uh, Touch with, touch with ROM and I'm going to be swapping to a, a lollipop ROM that I've already backed up so I'm going to be restoring that but I'll be backing this up first so what I usually do is go to my settings I'll go to <coughs> um, I'm just going to go to the side here where is it um, one second Go to my accounts in my I'll go to my Google accounts and this is my main one right here so I'll go there this is the stuff that's chucked off I'll go like that and I'll go sync now so that it syncs everything's just to make sure so I'll let that go and then I'll use my browser and go to my device then usually go to twerp backups and I'll delete the one the wrong the backup that I'm running now so for me that would be that would be the echo ROM which is this one so I'm gonna delete that delete okay so this is this Xeon is the uh, ROM I'm gonna be restoring so first what I gotta do now is back this up because I just deleted the backup I do this because um, when I restore back to this ROM it's gonna be as if I just restore back to right now instead of when I back that ROM up the one I just deleted uh, that could have been last week, I can't remember, but uh, I don't want to be back then. I want to be now when I restore my ROM. So I'm going to go restart, and we're going to go recovery. Right, recovery. Sorry if uh, I'm a little bit out of focus. I'm recording from my tablet, and my phone is behind the tablet, obviously, and I'm trying to look around tablet to see my screen okay so now we're boot booting into recovery okay so what I want to do is uh, back up right so let me get this focused have everything checked off, except especially your EFS, your modem, everything. Have everything backed up, right? Just checking that, and then swipe, and just let it go. So I'm gonna pause now till I till it finishes. Okay, so I'm back. It's just about finished. Actually, it just finished. I'm having issues with uh, focusing, so. Sorry for it being blurry. It's just finishing up the uh, the backup right now. Once it's finished, this okay. So it's done. Okay, successful. So now that it's backed up, I'll go back to, to home, and I'll go to wipe. I'll go to advanced wipe. Now this process I do four times. Why? Because uh, I think it helps, or just just to make sure it is really clean. So I do Delvic. I'll do Del uh, Delvic system data and cache. Okay, those are the ones that I I'm trying to get this to focus. Okay, I don't touch internal storage. Don't touch micro SD. So after that, I will swipe. 
and then it's done. I'll go back and do it again. Dalvik system, data, and cache. Wipe again. And I'll do it again, third time. And I'll do it a fourth time. To me, it's just make sure everything really is cleaned out. Can't hurt anyway. So now that it's, I've done it four times, I'll go back to the home button, right? And then I'll click restore, right? So now these are the two ROMs that I have. Uh, sorry for the bad focus, this sucks. I don't know why it's not focusing. But so the bottom one here is Echo ROM and the top one is the, uh, the Lollipop ROM. So I'm gonna touch that. And as you can see here, everything's going to be restored. Recovery, system, data, cache, EFS, modem, right? Everything's checked off. And basically, I just swipe and away it goes. So now what it's doing is uh, restoring that ROM that I backed up. Um, so I'm going to pause once again and come back to you when it's done. So it's still chugging along. We're at uh, 60, almost 70 percent. So I'll come back to you. Okay, so we're just about finishing uh, this uh, restore. 98 percent, and it says complete, successful. So now what I do is uh, basically just reboot system, and it's going to uh, be booting up into the ROM I just restored which is the lollipop ROM that I uh, backed up so we're gonna go re reboot system and now instead of echo ROM the one I just backed up and wiped clean now it's gonna be the uh, the lollipop ROM which is uh, Z Xenon HD I believe yeah Xenon HD So now, restoring this restore, it's uh, it's going to bring me back to the exact day and time when I did this uh, restore, or backup when I did this backup. So it's going to boot up. Sometimes it takes a little bit too to, to boot up. Um, I like this ROM. The only thing that I don't like is obviously because uh, it has no pen connectivity. So so that this is the, the Xenon ROM that I was running. It's super fast. Uh, let's go Okay, so we go here, here. Um, I'm just looking here. Give me a second. Now all my stuff's coming in. Let's cancel that. So we're gonna go about phone. There's Android 5.02. All right. I think I hold it. Here we go. See, lollipop. I think I hold that, and a game pops up. There it is. I'm not very good at it. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's just to show that it is lollipop. So basically, that is... Uh, how I uh, do the restore. So, for me to go back, I would be actually with this. It does give me the. It does not give me the four-way uh, restore. 
uh, four-way uh, power so um, to, to be able to boot back into recovery so I actually have to power it off and then do the uh, volume up power and uh, home button so so now that that's done I will be going power up the power up button home and volume and this will get me into recovery so back into recovery so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wipe advanced wipe do the everything like I did before do it once go back do it again right cash yep cash make sure you do not touch internal or micro SD uh, wipe again this time I'm just going to do three wipes it doesn't take very long to do it anyway so actually screw it I'll do it one more time so, right so that's four times now go back to home go to restore go back to my echo ROM which is this right restoring echo ROM make sure everything's checked off boot recovery system data cache EFS uh, modem and then just swipe so now I'm just headed back to the restore that I did at the beginning of the video so I'm going to pause and get back to you when it's done so it's just uh, chugging along here you can see it's uh, 5100 megabytes so that's 5 gigs to restore this uh, just hitting about 45 percent so I'll get back to you also when you do this uh, this type of thing make sure your battery's charged up uh, you can see mine's at 92% right now. Um, I'd say to be safe, at least have 60% power. You could probably do it with just uh, 30 or 20% because it doesn't take that long, but better safe than sorry. Okay, so we're finally getting there. We're at uh, 95% and this re uh, restore should be complete. We're throwing EFS, modem, and successful. So, that's it. Uh, reboot system. And now it's going to reboot back to the uh, echo round that I was running. Which is uh, a touch wish ROM. And there it is. So this is my Note 4 with Roger's uh, wireless Canadian phone. And um, for the notes we are running, see this one boots up, booted up really quick. Um, with Roger's, uh, we run, or oh, the Canadian phones that are rooted for Note 4s, we're running T-Mobile uh, ROMs. So that's it. Fully restored as if nothing ever happened. I'm just letting it, letting it uh, finish up the boot. So hopefully that helps uh, anybody who is interested or curious how, how to do this. Um, that's how I do it. Um, you probably don't have to wipe three, four times like I do, but like I said, it, it's uh, the cleaner it is, um, the less hassles or less issues you have in case on the first wipe something's missed. You probably don't have to do it four times, but I do because it doesn't take very long anyway. So that's it. Oh, that's my daughter. Cancel that. So hope you liked the video, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.